In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first standard shopping campaign on Google Ads for your e-commerce store. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously log into your Google Ads account, hit the plus icon and create a new campaign. Now, when it comes to choosing your objective, always go for sales if that's your end goal. Don't go for traffic, don't go for awareness and consideration. If you want sales, select sales. Now what this will do, you probably are seeing this option, create a campaign without guidance. When you select sales, this will pre-select some of the settings for the sales campaign. So there is no difference if you select sales or you hit create a campaign without guidance and you select all of the options. When you select sales, Google just pre-selects some of the settings. That's it. So we're going to hit sales, make sure you have your Google tag installed and you have purchases as your main event. Hit continue and now here we're gonna select shopping campaign and you need to add your merchant center here after you select your merchant center you will see that google will try to push you to create a performance max campaign instead of standard shopping campaign but we're gonna select standard shopping campaign i have a separate video on the pmax campaign which you're gonna see the thumbnail somewhere on the screen and the link to that video is gonna be in the description below so after we select standard shopping campaign we hit continue and standard shopping campaign by the way is the easiest to set up this is not gonna take a lot of time now campaign name let's do standard shopping campaign for youtube video additional settings inventory filter don't worry about it at the moment local products don't worry about it campaign url options here is if you're using third-party tools to track data for example if you're using chupa well you need to add your utm tag into the top one which is tracking templates then bidding strategy go for target ROAS especially if you're just starting out target ROAS is going to be the best for you and then when it comes to your actual target I would recommend to you if this is your one of your first campaigns to create calculate your break-even ROAS and then add a little bit on top for example let's say your break-even ROAS is 1.7 go with two ROAS just because in the beginning Google will not have a ton of data on you and it's going to be very hard for Google to achieve 3, 4, 5, 6 ROAS. So go with a little higher. With time, when you get more data, when you optimize your campaign, you obviously can increase. So let's go with 2. And in Google's case, if you want 2 ROAS, you need to type 200 because here it's in percentages. It's a bit different than Facebook. We scroll down, budget, set your average daily budget. Let's go with 100 just for the sake of this video. Customer acquisition, don't worry about this. If you're just starting out, campaign priority, leave this as low. Search networks, you need to turn this off just because you're going to get better performance. When you're targeting search networks, you're just wasting money, in my opinion, with the standard shopping campaigns. Here into locations. Always go to location options and select presence. So people in or regularly in your included locations. Because if you leave the top, for example, someone from France might express interest to the United States. They can target him with ads, which is not okay. So always go with presence. People in or regularly in your included location. Start date, leave it as it is. And then add group. When it comes to strategy for standard shopping campaigns, what I would recommend to you is to start with your best selling collection. So let's say you sell clothes online and we're going into the summer. Your best selling collection is the t-shirts, let's say. So we're gonna start this standard shopping campaign with just your t-shirts. And then with time, when we scale, when we increase budget, when we get better results, we're gonna create a separate campaign for all of the other products. But in the beginning, we're gonna focus just on your best sellers, just because they're proven to sell well and it's gonna help you get better results a lot faster. So, Let's go with t-shirts and I'm going to show you how you can isolate them. So create campaign. And when it comes to the creation, that's it. You can see how simple it is. And now you see that the product group is all product. So currently you're targeting every single product in your website. So we're going to hit the plus up icon at subdivision and you're going to go to product type and you can see we have t-shirts. So we're going to take this and we're going to select save without editing bits. Now you can see you have two product groups. The first product group is just with t-shirts and the second product group is everything else in all products. So in order for us to focus on the t-shirts only, only. we're going to hit here and click exclude and now all of the budget will be focused towards the t-shirts collection and basically that's it when it comes to the creation of a standard shopping campaign it's extremely easy you just need to be careful with the settings and the part that takes the longest when it comes to google ads is the optimization so i'll be creating more videos when it comes to google ads and how to optimize your campaigns but yeah that was about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Hope you got value out of it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.